What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Professor Layton and the Azrad Legacy. We are in the nest, Tarjan's secret lair, where there's this huge tower that has ancient Azran history inscribed on it. And we're trying to get to the top to see Bronev. Aurora, are you alright? Yes, yes, I'm alright. It's just the energy feels so strong here. Has it brought back more of your memories? Yes, something about my mission from a time long ago. The memory feels different from my recent memories with all of you. It's familiar and yet frightening. It's okay, Aurora. We're here for you. Thanks, Luke. Professor, I'll do my best. I will fulfill my role as messenger. This is what is written here. We reached the apex of civilization. Ultimate knowledge was ours. What did we learn? That secret is kept by the messenger. As her heart is pierced, let it be revealed. And let enlightenment be delivered. Our last legacy to the world. The last legacy to the world? Wow, that sounds pretty momentous if you ask me. In a matter of speaking, perhaps. It's hard to be sure, but I fear that Azran's legacy to us is not a blessing but a terrible threat. That's ominous. Perhaps depending upon our actions, the exact nature of their legacy may change. Interesting. So perhaps it can be either good or bad. What do you suppose Bronev hopes to find? Treasure? Some kind of weapon? I couldn't even hazard a guess. But we've already seen Azran technology that can alter climate and harness the waves. Whatever this last legacy is, it will certainly be powerful. And though I can't say what Bronev's ultimate goal is, it's clear he intends to use this power for his own ends. We'd better hurry. We cannot leave the last egg in Bronev's possession. It looks as though there's another lift going straight up from here to the top floor. Okay then, let's get in! Mm -hmm. Professor, the lift won't open! Look, there is a manner of control panel here. It appears we need to enter a code to activate the lift. Touch 10 buttons! Oh, this looks like it's going to be complicated. Okay. The control panel for this lift contains 25 buttons, 10 of which need to be pressed to activate the lift. The rows and columns are marked with numbers that indicate how many buttons in that row or column need to be pressed. Ah, okay. No buttons should be pressed on rows or columns marked zero. Now choose carefully and press the 10 buttons that will activate the lift. This is going to be a huge trial and error puzzle. Okay, I see. So, like, this is wrong because of the zeros. I gotcha. Okay, okay, let's see. Kind of reminds me of a Sudoku puzzle. But what is this? On I, what is this? There's nothing marked there. What is, what is the, um... Huh, I don't know. Oh, oh, I see. Because I guess it would give it away if you marked all of them. Okay, hold on. So let's see. Let's just go. I mean, this fits, right? This... This satisfies all the conditions. Oh, I'm missing a... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I'm missing a button! Oh! Oh, I see! But the tricky thing here is, you see, we've satisfied every single condition for the number uh, numerical rows, like the 2041-1304. We have those filled. So if we add a, a circle, or if we add one anywhere else, it messes it up. We need to add the last one where there are no markings, which is only one spot here. Why would they put that in? I don't know, it feels weird. 
it wouldn't, I mean, it's not like, it wasn't tr entirely tricky, because I, I can't submit without, with only nine buttons. So you put the tenth button, submit. Let's shed some light on this one. Excellent, if I do say so myself. I just realized that was a machine gun turret thing. I'm surprised that anyone would build such a tower, large enough to enclose a great Azran pillar. It's no doubt just another way for Bronev to exhibit his wealth and power. A transparent and tasteless endeavor. I did not realize until now how important the Azran civilization was. I just don't know. If somebody solves the mystery of the Azran, what will become of me? I know you're anxious, Aurora, but we're sure to get some answers when we talk to Bronev. Yes, you're right. Give me some cutscenes, man! Come on, now! This must be Bronev's office. It looks very... intimidating. The egg is behind those doors. Excellent. Then let us press on. Get it? Excellent. Ah, 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 ah. Who the hell are you? Professor Herschel Layton, you're here to see the boss. And who are you? My name is no concern of yours. I'm here to determine whether you're worthy of the boss's time. Should you not be out there searching for your escaped prisoner? That pitiful archaeologist, he's just a pawn. No use expending energy on him. I'm more interested in you and your qualifications. Let's have a look at your results. Quickly now, let's not make this any harder than it needs to be. What? You haven't even solved 75 puzzles yet? And you think the boss will give you the time of day with that? Be off with you, and don't bother coming back until you've solved 75 puzzles! Okay. Ah! <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen eventually. Okay, go back. Wait, no, 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 don't do that. Okay. Alright, so. So. I guess I'll be back. Okay, so what I've done is, I've done all the puzzles up to 75, but I recorded at least half of them. So what's gonna happen is, I'll come out with the second video, it's about 20 to 30 minutes long, of just puzzles, and then um, I end up doing about 10 or so off camera, and now I'm back here again, with the correct number of puzzles to be solved to get past this guy. Right, so, recap. I'll have another video come out, either the same time as this one or a little bit after, today, that has a lot of the puzzles in it. Okay, now let's talk to the- where's my stylus? Got it. You back then! Let's see if you're qualified to meet the base. Looks like you've solved the required 75 puzzles, you must have traveled all over. Okay, in you go, the boss is waiting. That man, that Macintosh, was it? We get a few troublemakers like him who can't take orders. They usually end up running. He wanted his freedom. I can't blame him. We're on the verge of acquiring the power of the greatest civilization that ever lived. Only a fool would throw that away. A fool or a weakling? Don't you understand? Tarja would never have come this far without using strength and authority. But you kidnap people! And they are lucky enough to have a part in our glorious mission. The very heart of Targent is its military might and the great man who wields it, Commander Bronev. Hmm. I lost my cool there, never mind. You'll understand when you meet the boss. No, I won't. Go! <gasps> Go now! Man, get out of my way, man! You're the reason I had to sit here doing an hour of puzzles. 
But then again, I really should have found them as I went along in the game. Bronev is waiting for us. Once we enter that room, there will be no going back. Are you all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Of course we're ready! It's time to get the egg back and finally solve the Azran mystery. So, Bronev is just behind those doors. If we can get the last Aura Stone back from him, I believe my memories will come back to me. Yes, the time has finally come. Liar! There's nobody in here. Oh, there he is. Well, well! At long last, here you are. How do you like this nest of ours? Bronev, you soulless monster! I'll make you pay for what you've done! Ah, you brought some extra baggage along with you, I see. But I have no interest in the brains of fools. No, no, Professor Layton. You are the one I've been waiting for. I'd like to extend an invitation to you to join Targent. Yes, join them, Leighton! I beg your pardon, that is a great deal. Yes, I accept your offer. This is an absolute joke. Don't listen to him. Don't feign surprise, Leighton. You are, after all, an archaeologist. One who has seen the Azran ruins and knows their significance. Power and wisdom beyond anything that mankind possesses today. Don't tell me you are tempted. Yeah, don't tell him you are tempted, Leighton! Join them! The advancement of man's knowledge is a worthy goal, but one that should be pursued in freedom, not at the cost of human rights. Such noble sentiment! But you're also here today because you seek the Azran eggs. What difference is there really between you and I? We are nothing like you. We understand the importance of free will. So why would we want to become your slaves? Free will? Are you so attached to your independence that you'd forgo the rewards of working together for a greater goal? No matter, let us not dwell on our disagreements. How about a little game? This one is a favorite of mine. A simple coin game. The winner takes the Azran egg. Are you in, Leighton? Very well, what are the rules? You flip a coin. You call heads or tails. Winner gets everything. Loser dies. I shall lay out the coin, um, lay out 24 coins in a row. You and I will then take turns picking up coins. On your turn, you may pick up one, two, or three, as you prefer. The person who picks up the last coin wins the game. It's as simple as that. We did a puzzle just like this in Layton crossover with Ace Attorney. Dual, wait, what the heck was that? Oh my God. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, no, it's just, it was Leighton versus Phoenix Wright. Yeah, 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 that, that sounds right. It is a game of strategy, I see. I propose we play Stratego. Now then, let us begin. I'll let you decide who goes first. Um... Now, hmm, why don't I try just playing along and seeing what happens, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Why don't we try doing an all-odd combination, which is probably going to have me lose. Bomp, 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 bomp. Interesting. He chooses one, I choose three, he also chooses three. Oh, but now he's going even. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight. Hold on, give me, give me thirty seconds to think here. Um, okay, I think I got it. I think if I choose three. Ah, oh, wait, 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 ah. 
then he'll choose one, then I'm screwed and I lose. So, what if I choose two? Then, let's see, he can choose one or two. No, then he'll still win. Uh-oh. I might want to keep this number small for now. Ah, crap, he won. That was interesting. All I had to do was just do the opposite of what he does. So if he, okay, so let me choose three here. If he chose three coins, I choose one. If he chooses one, I choose three. If he chooses two, I choose two. And he actually, he kind of teaches you as you go. So if you go first, or I guess it doesn't really matter, and you try doing a move. That's what we first learned. When, remember when I did three, he chose one. I chose, wait, nah. Well then, Bronov, I appear to have won. Now I believe the Azran egg was the prize we agreed on. I suppose I have no choice, do I? You can have the egg. But before you start to feel smug, I'd like to show you something. My gun! <gasps> you have outdone yourself today, my dear. Everything's delicious. Well, of course. Don't you know what day it is today? It's the day we brought little Herschel home. More than 30 years ago now. Can you believe it? Has it really been that long? Yes, I suppose it has. It must be hard being Santa Claus. But we've been lucky, haven't we? It's been such a happy time. So it has. So it has. How? A charming old couple, are they not? You must be very fond of them, Leighton. What do you intend to do to them? Nothing at all, if you accept my invitation. Don't pay any attention, Professor. It's a trick. How tiresome you are. I warn you, Leighton. If you listen to this drivel, his drivel, I'll have no more mercy for you than I had for him. Now then, the choice is yours. What will you do? My parents. No, I will never join Targent. You won't? So you don't really care about your parents after all, and I thought you were such a soft-hearted man. So you won't accept my offer. Suit yourself. Oh, I won't coerce you. I'd rather let you go free and see what you do. Here, have the infamous egg. But know this, Leighton. Wherever you go, I'll be just one step ahead waiting for you. So long, gay boys. I mean, how could you not think think of that reference when you, re when you read that? Professor? Threatening your parents. That man's depravity knows no bounds. Professor, are you sure that was... I mean, what's going to happen now? Oh, nothing, they're just dead. But that footage wasn't live, at least. It wasn't? That party took place last week. I was sorry to miss it. In fact, I spoke to my mother on the telephone just yesterday. Ma and Pa are perfectly fine, for the moment at least. What a happy coincidence that you called them so recently. It was, wasn't it? I must hope that Bronev is too focused on the Azran to follow through with his threats. The thought of him harming my parents. He had me so shaken I was fooled at first, you know. If Professor Sycamore had not interjected, I fear I would have given in. Thank you, Professor. I am extremely grateful. It was nothing. I'm familiar with Targent's trickery. I wonder if this egg is just another trick. The last egg. It's real.
This is the last Aura Stone. Professor, I... Once I realize the power of the Aura Stones, I may not be myself anymore. Do you really think so, Aurora? Ever since we entered this tower, I have experienced a very strong feeling. Not happiness or sorrow or fear, but something more like... Compulsion. The urge to fulfill my mission, to remember my duty as the Azran Emissary. I feel a great gulf between myself and all of you. Do not worry, Aurora. You are more than just the Azran Emissary. You are also our trusted companion and our friend. Whatever anxiety grips us, we face it together as one. Do you really mean that, Professor Sycamore? Of course! No matter what happens, we all believe in you, Aurora. Aurora. Thank you. Your words have given me strength. I'm ready to activate the Aura Stones and release their power. But not in here. We should go outside for this. It's certainly a lovely day outside. Storm clouds brewing. Hmm. But why don't we end this video here and we can do this next time. So that way today we already had like almost an hour of videos, right? Because this one's about 20 minutes. The puzzle one's about 20 minutes. Pretty good, I think. So stay tuned for the next one. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.